If you like our videos, consider checking out our Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday again, so that means... Go <laughs> storage plate. Hi, that's Jag Talk from now on. Nudity on slick paper. So which golden girl? What? Would you go for? Do they have to be like their old... Well, can we just... They can be in the olden times. Okay, then I guess... Ruby McClellan and Betty White were both pretty attractive back in the day. Right. We all know that fucking Maud wasn't. I can't think Maud. of her name right now. What's her name? No, she wasn't too bad looking. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You're talking about fucking B. Arthur. Yes, thank you. I couldn't think of B. Name. Arthur was... No. <laughs> but I take them all. Train them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the fuck do you mean train them? Train them for what? Do tricks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But I would probably... I, I meant run the train on them. <laughs> anyway. It'd be fun. We're here. <laughs> and this week we've... This is worth... I would sleep with all Golden Girls in one night. Speaking of Golden Girls, we've done The Wickedest Witch. Starring <laughs> Rue McClanahan. <laughs> and mostly just Rue McClanahan and some puppets. Yeah. And a little boy. I would use her as a hand puppet. It was this 1989 Halloween special. But it was narrated by Burgess Meredith, that's nice. She looked for a loophole that would allow her to flee the loathsome grievals and return to the surface world, thus ending her miserable sentence, and this one as well. I know. I, as soon as I heard his voice, I was like, yo, Mick. And then it cuts to Rue McClanahan. She's all evil witchy because she is the wickedest witch. Right. And she's trapped in the center of the earth. Because of, you know, she's a wicked, wicked witch. Wicked witch, and that's where they were. And she has, like, she has dominion over these dragon things. They're not dragons, they're gargamites. Gar gargamites. That's not what they are. <laughs> but Whatever, something, they're like something. But it's bingo time. Your subjects grow restless for their nightly bingo game. Ooh, bingo time, bingo time. So now we learn that, like, you know, Rue's trapped there for a hundred years every, or she's been there 300 years or something, but every hundred years there's an opportunity for her to get out, blah, blah, blah. And 300 years hence, on Halloween night, the curse may be lifted if conditions are right. You know, when anybody ever That's why making a kid do something evil. You know, some people go to, like, BFWs and stuff, and they play bingo and shit. Yeah. When anybody ever tells me, I'm like, I'm going to VFW to play bingo. What you just told me was, I just want my life to end. You know, there is nothing for me to do in life. I'm just going to go to this building and end it. <laughs> well, I'd rather sit at home and play bingo, man. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how people could enjoy it, but hey, people... Enjoy all kinds of weird things. B12, you know, and you're there, but just like... I don't think I have that much time to waste. So whatever. Now we get to learn, like, the specifics of, like, Rue's curse and stuff from this pop machine. The Great Shtick. The Great Shtick. So his head comes up and he yeah. gives her fucking, tells her all the shit that we need to know as an audience. In order to be released from your curse, you must get a child to commit a cruel, evil, despicable deed. <laughs> Sounds fair. Where do I get a child? Well, I have to order out. I could send a Greeble to the service world to get you. A Greeble? You would place my fate in the hands of an idiot reptile? Hey, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting a call on another dispenser. So wait, 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 I'm not through. Oh, I almost forgot. You must complete this task before midnight tonight, lest you be cursed for another 300 years. The Great Stick has spoken! Just like her castmate in fucking Golden Girls, that dude was in History of the World Part 1. Awesome movie. So since she has to find the smartest dragon, or whatever the fuck they are, to go upstairs right. to Earth to find kid. the kid, yeah. they have a game show to find the smartest. Well, that about completes our exciting first round, and now on to our elimination round. The winner of this round will be our grand prize winner. Kid has to weigh 70 pounds. I know that was a requirement for some weird reason. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this first dragon gargamite thing gets the question wrong, so she turns him into stone. Where can you find the English Channel? <laughs> yeah, hideous creature number two. On cable? Wrong. Not only wrong, stupid. He must be eliminated. 
dude, I do. Ruthless. I do love this Rude fucking question, though, know, because she's asking about you know the Statue of Liberty, and I do love the here. What famous landmark stands in the New York Harbor? It's known as the Statue of Limitations. The Statue of Limitations. L limitations. When he said that, we both fucking died. I was like, wow, how fitting for the time. And then Zero, she turns into fucking stone. <laughs> so Sammy the Gargamite wins. Dude, that should be the Republicans' tagline now. You know, Statue of Limitations. <laughs> so Ryu gives Sammy the Gargamite a magic rock to grants him one wish. I have given it the power to grant you one wish, should you need it in an emergency. Can I just take the rock and we'll call it even? You have until midnight to bring me a child. If you fail, you'll need that rock to wish you'd never been hatched. And then he uh, goes... <laughs> and we cut to Lewis. Which is strange, because we're filming two episodes today, and both movies, both things had Lewis's in it. Right. One was original, and one was completely stolen from something else, but we'll get into that at <laughs> some other point, you'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll... But anyway, Lewis is a magician, so he's upstairs practicing his magic tricks. This trick never works. And while Lewis practiced his tricks, fate was ready to play one of its own. And then, you know, it's a Gargamite comes in. You ever do magic tricks? You ever do that shit with, like, the, I remember it back in the day. Had when you had the like, magic was, kits or yeah, whatever. Dude, that was the big thing back in the day. Yeah. You know, magic tricks. Yeah, with what's-his-name. And what's-his-name? I can't think of any magicians right now. What was the big one? Jonathan. <laughs> well, he was more of a stand-up <laughs> no, comedian. Was a comedian slash magician. Penn and Teller. They were awesome. Penn and but, though, what was the one? Awesome. What was the one that used to make the shit disappear on TV? David Copperfield. Oh, Copperfield, yeah. That and was huge when we were yeah, kids. Yeah, they used to make his wiener disappear and the women. Claudia Schiffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. So Gargamite Sammy and Lewis become fucking friends like instantly. As the night progressed, Lewis and Sammy learned to trust each other. Much like a child learns to trust a new friend. In like an hour, he's like, oh, they learned to trust each other and this and that. Within an hour? <laughs> Or within, within five seconds? Five seconds of knowing each other? Yeah. Or whatever. They but whatever, the Sammy the Gargamite fucking sends He's them not back. a Gargamite. <laughs> no. <laughs> he is now. So they go down to hell, basically. I know some women that could be considered Gargamites. And what's fucking great is this even has a commercials in it. Because we get a commercial for the McDonald's fucking, remember the trick-or-treat fucking oh, coupon yeah. thing? Yeah, we yeah. used to trade them in for like the ice cream or the... Whatever. Nice. Awesome. Each book also comes with a mail-in certificate for this free Roger Rabbit. When you buy your video cassette of the smash hit and framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> McDonald's Happy Halloween Certificates. A deal so good, it's eerie. Oh, then we get the commercial for fucking Aqua, Aqua Fresh. Aqua Fresh. The yes. Aqua Kid. I love the fact that the mother is not disturbed by any of this until they fly. Well, was she even really that disturbed? No. So, I mean, he basically just absconded with her fucking child. <laughs> he, he did. He grabbed the little boy, dry humped him into the air, and she's just like, fly? Hmm. Back to laundry. Oh, dude. And then, then we get a wheat checks commercial with Melvin from Tremors in it. <laughs> but then... Yeah. Feminists would be going nuts over commercials like that now, because they'd the be Melvin? like, "No, I'm talking about the woman in the crest, crest, quest, whatever commercial." You know, Aquafresh. The Aquafresh. Yes. I uh, like they. They'd be like, "Why well, isn't the man doing laundry? Why is it only the woman?" You know, that's what they do now. They freak out. That's why everything's all commercials are gender neutral and they're all weird and nobody wants to do it. Say you're doing anything wrong. Nobody wants to say anything. Fuck them and fuck you. We're moving on <laughs> to Matlock in Hollywood. Matlock's in Hollywood. Action! For a real life murder mystery. Who done it on Halloween? <laughs> Nothing's gonna offend anybody about Matlock in Hollywood. Maybe there's <laughs> one person out there that's like, fuck Matlock! Oh, then we get a nice little promo for Night Court. Double Trouble Wednesday on Night Court when Harry cuffs Christine. It's just a trick. Hey, they are. And it's a devilish bull when Dan takes him out for a night on the town. And then my two do. Dudes, my, my two dude dads. <laughs> dude, look at Greg Evigan's hair, man. Yeah. And why do I know Greg Evigan's name? What was that? Now fucking... they weren't a gay couple, right? 
right? No. No, they were just... Friends. Who, they, they could never figure out who was the father of the kid. There weren't DNA testing then? I don't fucking they remember, dude. They could have just went on Maury and ended the dude, series. I haven't seen that show since 1989, so I don't fucking remember. I just remember Greg ever getting his hair. And what I was saying, why well, I remember, what was that fucking horror movie he was in? Was it Leviathan? The, like, rip-off of, like, Abyss? He was in one of those. Because I remember him, like, shooting up from the bottom of the sea and exploding all over the fucking thing. What? Never mind. That wasn't in Leviathan. Then there was another one. There was another one that was a, a fucking around the same time. Hmm. Deep Star Six. Yes. My, that might be it. Yeah. Whatever. Moving we'll back on to this. Right. Because now we fucking cut back to Rue and she made herself look Ooh. nice. Like a granny. She looked better than the, the, as the witch. Yeah. So whatever. Fucking Gargamite and Gargamite. Lewis fucking show up and they have a whole fucking game show because the plan to get the kid to do evil. You know what's blah, 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 for, blah, blah, for a second, blah. because the kid looked almost like Fred Savage from a far away, like little monsters, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then it wasn't. It was just... So the kid wins rude. the first fucking round, so he gets the ability to airplay the keytar. <laughs> Yeah, I don't oh, want that fucking ability. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? If somebody was like, you know, hey, you get the ability to just do keytar just out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't do it. You'd be yeah, standing yeah, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I mean, there, there's probably fucking an app for that. We could probably just hold up our phone and go... Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure there is. There's an app for everything. Yeah, but anyway. Rude tries tricking Lewis to fucking turn Sammy the Gargamite into stone. Right. Take this. Point this scepter. And think... Stone. That's it? Yeah. It's the cake. Yeah. Marble cake. To Nothing, he just turns to stone. Here, go, go, go. But Lewis does it, he smashes the scepter. And she freaks out. Gets all pissy. I thought she was going to slam over. You fool! You stupid little fool, look what you did. I can't get replacement parts for that. I know this might be a bad time, Your Grace, but time's up. So she was like, well, I'm fucking here for 300,000 years. so are you. So are you, you piece of shit. Sorry. Sorry! You're sorry! You gotta be a lot sorrier when you find out you're stuck here too. And the kid was like, I gotta go back home. I got family up there. I'm like, wow, you don't really seem like you get flux. I have to go home! Out of my way, you freaks. I gotta go find some glue. What am I gonna do? I can't be here. family up there. And yeah. Sammy the Gargamite forgot about his fucking, <laughs> the rock, so he accidentally yeah, wishes the kid home. I wish I could get you home. Maybe if you started digging, we could... Hey, 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 what happened? He's gone. I forgot about the rock. Ha! He granted my wish. Gee. Kid? I hope you're all right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, because he was like, I hope you're okay, kids in hell. Like, ah! You know, or he woke up in the Playboy Mansion covered in titties, you know? So Ruth <laughs> stuck dreaming. rolling over Bingo Night again. And then yeah. it cuts to a fucking commercial for McDonald's for yeah. Rescue Rangers Happy Meal toys. Nice. They're flying into McDonald's. Disney's Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Daddy, here you go, get <laughs> Now, when you buy your kids McDonald's Happy Meal, they'll get one of four Rescue Rangers toys. Tip, Dale, Lovable Gadget, Need a napkin? And Monterey Jack. And they can mix the parts to make new toys. But hurry, they'll be flying out of McDonald's fast. McDonald's Happy Meal. Collect all four. And then we get a fucking commercial for Second Sight, the John Larry Kett, um... Bronson Pinchot movie. Yeah, that I completely forgot. Which about. is great because this has been a John Larroquette happy fucking but uh, heavy ep 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 episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we yeah, get yeah. a commercial for Turbo RC cars. Whoa! Dude, those RC car commercials were everywhere back in yeah, the day. Yeah, those like, RC constantly. cars sucked. 
Yeah. Because you got like one pebble and it stopped. You're like, fuck you! They're supposed to go over things and do this it's and like, do They can't conquer our carpet. Yeah, Yo, you know? yeah, dude, for real. Never conquer carpet. Dude, that's what sucked, dude. Because where I live, we had a, we had a gravel driveway. We had fucking awful orange and shag carpet the time in you when got I grew this up. Shit was in winter. And then we had fucking grass and stuff. I had nowhere to fucking drive one of those things at all. Yeah. I mean, they all like, assumed you had this long runway. You were a kid, so you're like, I want one. And your parents fucking relent and give you one, but you have nowhere to fucking drive it. Right. Yeah. Fuckers. And half the time you got this shit was during Christmas. It's winter time. Everything's yeah. fucking covered in snow. So you want to try it. Take it outside. So yeah. you go outside, you run it through the oh, snow, right and it fucking it's fuck out and it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then your dad secretly or, tells one of your brothers to fucking beat you up that night. It flips over, <laughs> it flips over a rock, and the battery comes out and just totally busts the parks. It's yeah. all made of shit. And you then know? credits. Merry Christmas, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so I honestly, I enjoyed this. I Not as much as I enjoyed the Halloween that almost wasn't. I couldn't fucking remember for yeah. a second. Not as much as I would have enjoyed sleeping with all the Golden Girls. On that note, for Gutter Bird... We'll see you later. Strangers in the night. <laughs> Exchanging clothes. So I'm like, do I fucking say fuck it? Do I put the Ron Coon shirt on? Or do I just say fuck it, I'm lazy? Fuck it. You're lazy. Are we going outside or anything? Yeah, run it. Run it, run it. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck that old slut. Fuck that bitch. No, we cannot take our Ron Coon's aggressions out been. on fucking Rue McClanahan. Rue McClanahan. You just like saying her name. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Rue McClanahan. Rue McClanahan. <laughs> See, fun. <laughs> ben. <laughs> no. Ben. I don't know if I'd call it that. It's, I said it's fun to say. I didn't say it was just fun in general. It's just fun to say. Rue McClanahan. Rue. <laughs>